Assalamu alaikum. Today we will be speaking about the Messiah and the true understanding in relation to Jesus, the son of Mary. Notice that I speak of it as though these are two different individuals because they are, and it is evident within the text. So let's get into why these things have been misinterpreted and how they have been misinterpreted. Well, the first question is why? Um, there was a lot of Ju Judeo-Christian influence in early Islam. We have Christians that are accepting Islam. We have Jews that are accepting Islam. So um, this idea of the Messiah and understandings will be incorporated from other peoples that are being converted. It just kind of merged into there. Um, also, when people use the Hadith, they are going to come to their own conclusions outside of what Allah has said. So remember that as well. Um, also, we will see that Jesus is not coming back within the text. Um, and also, please remember to always, when you look at the Quran, try to get the revelation order. So with this PDF file here, I started with the first file, the first verses that were released or revealed. And then... I went to the last verses that were revealed. So chapter 3, verse 42. This is Surah Imran. And when the angel said, O oh Mary, indeed Allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the world. You'll see that our highlights uh, give us a better um, understanding for us to get greater insight into the confusion. Remember, I had to translate this stuff word for word. I will have a series where I break it down and it will be even longer of a video. But for this video, we're just going to go through this. If you wish to fact check me, go to corpus, corpus.cran.com. You'll be able to go word by word um, if you wish. So. This is where we are saying that Mary is going to be chosen and she is going to be purified above all of the women of the world. Oh, Mary, be obedient to your Lord and prostrate and bow with those who bow down. This is just saying that she needs this is these are the angels that are speaking to her. So let's remember that this is a conversation that the angels are having with Mary and they are giving her instructions now. In 44, what is this going to be? Is going to be a news of an unseen. This is similar to a prophecy, a prophecy or information, if you will. That from the news, that from the news of the unseen, which we reveal unto you, you were not with them when they cast their pens, which of them cared for Mary? This is this is Allah saying, hey, did any of you care for Mary or did I care for Mary? Now, were you with them when they disputed? Not were you with them when they were, dis when they disputed. So this is Allah saying that Truly that no one has knowledge of the matter but him. So now this is another statement 
coming from the angels. And we we know that this is knowledge of the unseen that is given to her. And when the angel said, they're speaking to her. Oh, Mary. Indeed, Allah gives you good tidings of a word from him. The word is word from him. And then it would be a comma. His name. So the question would be whose name? The Messiah. Comma. Now this is before they have punctuation marks. And they don't have punctuation marks in this language. Mind you. Jesus. The son of Mary. Honored in the world. And uh, and the hereafter, and among those brought near. All right, so this is a separation, and the next sentence is about him, and he will speak to the people in the cradle and maturity. That's it. You got to start being a stickler for the details. If Allah does not say it, it's not going to happen. He said he's going to speak to them when? In the cradle and maturity. And so he spoke in two junctures. This is to state that he spoke in two time periods. Remember that people try to say that Jesus went to India and whatnot. It's just not what happened. Okay. Now, this is his mother speaking to the angel and responding. She said, my Lord, how will I have a boy when no man has touched me? Now, the angels respond, said, such is Allah. He creates what he wills. And when he decrees a matter. He only says, be, and it is. So what is interesting, you got you to gotta pay attention to these ands. Like, and. Okay, now we have something else happening. And. This purple is going to show, this is someone else. And he will teach him the book. One, and the wisdom, and the Torah, and the gospel. Allah did not teach Jesus the Quran. And now we have an, we're having more knowledge of the unseen. This is a list of all the things that this person is going to do. He will teach the book, the wisdom. This is the book. This is this book. The wisdom. Torah in the Injil. Okay. Also, he will make him a messenger to the children of Israel. Not Jesus. The Messiah. Indeed, I have come to you who will say, <clears throat> I will come to you with a sign from your Lord and that I create for you from clay like the form of a bird 
then breathe into it and it becomes a bird by the permission of Allah. Okay, so we have two more things. And he will cure the blind. And he will cure the leper. And he will give life to the dead. Okay, now people don't realize now we're still coming. Now we're about to get into some qualifications that Jesus does not fit. And he will inform you of what you eat. So the job of the Messiah is to give you your diet. And what you store in your houses and tell you what is appropriate for you to have inside of your house, your pets. Don't ask me how I know. Indeed. And that is a sign for you. If you are believers. All right. And now we have more. Now we have more. That is still happening from this person. Those little lines in yellow were only concerning Jesus. We know that Jesus spoke as a child. We know Jesus spoke in maturity. We know Jesus was raised. End of story. And confirming what was before me of the Torah. And to make lawful to you what was forbidden to you. So we know that Jesus said, I did not come to change any law. So just just for just remember that. And I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. And a sign. So fear Allah and obey me. All right, so that's clear. We have someone who has a sign from the Lord who makes a lawful what you have forbidden to you. As well as tell you what you store in your homes and what you eat and bring life from the, bring the dead to life and the leper and cure the blind and make a clay bird come to life. So in the Gospels, Jesus says, I can't create a thing. Okay, let's go to chapter 4, verse 153. The people of the scripture ask you to bring down to them a book from heaven. Okay, so this is, this is definitely not good. It's not good. But they have, but they had asked of Moses greater than that. And they said, show us Allah outright. They wanted to see God directly. So the thunderbolts struck them for their wrongdoing. Then they took the calf. For worship after clear evidence, then 
they still it was just like after that this is the second transgression after clear evidence had come to them remember all of these miracles we pardoned them and we gave Moses a clear authority and when we raised over them the mountain so a whole mountain was was raised over the 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 community of Israelites when they took their covenant okay sorry and it said to them all right so this is interesting right the way that people feel like they don't have to observe the sabbath is crazy just crazy is that what happened into the gates it's like my into the gates of heaven prostrating and we said to them, do not transgress on the Sabbath. So what does that mean? That means we we you should what? If that says don't transgress the Sabbath. And we took from them a solemn covenant. See, this is this is how they feel. This is how Allah feels about it. The solemn is very important. Then, because of their breaking of the covenant and their disbelief in the signs of Allah and their killing of the prophets without right and their saying, our harps are wrapped. Rather, Allah has sealed their hearts because of their disbelief. So they believe not except for a few and for their disbelief and for their saying against Mary. So for those that, you know, they slander Mary, they try to say that Mary, they, a lot of people have said that, you know, that Mary wasn't a virgin, that Mary was married, that um, they have worship mary this is a long list of things that have to do with mary and they're saying now this is something different indeed we killed the messiah comma this is now we're going to see this is speaking about two different people because crucifixion is a way of death Okay. Jesus, the son of Mary. It's a distinction. What is he? He's a messenger. The Messiah is different. There's one Messiah, many messengers. Of Mary, the messenger of Allah. Period. Right? Now, we are speaking about the first person. And they did not kill him. Who? The Messiah. And they did not crucify him. Who? Jesus, the son of Mary, messenger of Allah. But, see, was made to resemble him to them. So now we're saying, hey. There was a crucifixion. Jesus wasn't there. Somebody else took his place. Okay. That has to do with the crucifixion. They didn't try to kill Jesus. But that time. And they thought it was successful. So this is going to say that there was an attempt to kill. This is some, it would be something different. An attempt to kill somebody in a crucifixion is something different. And indeed, 
those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption, period. Now, what are we talking about now? They did not kill him. So we were referencing the same statement that was said again. Who are we speaking about? The Messiah. For certain. Okay. Now. We are still speaking about. Now we're speaking about these same people. Now it's Jesus. No. He was raised towards him. By Allah. And Allah is exalted. And power. Why? So, can we see the clear distinction? Because here's the verse so you know that Jesus is not coming back. And none of the people of the book believed. In him before his death. So notice. It can't be Jesus. That's the Messiah. Because it says. That the people of the book. Did not believe in him. Before his death. But in the last verse. It just repeated. Well. Two verses. It repeated it. And they did not kill him. And they did not kill him. And for saying they killed the Messiah. So first we get to know who we're talking about. Killed the Messiah. Killed him. Killed him. And then it says. They did not believe. Before his death. And on the day of judgment. He will be a witness against them. How is Jesus coming back? If. Jesus is dead. It says that he was raised to Allah. Jesus is dead. None of the people of the book believed in him before he died. And on the day of judgment, he will be a witness against them. How can Jesus be a witness against them if he comes back on earth? Oh, people of the book. All right, so now we have some more verses in the same chapter. Do not commit Excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. Period. The Messiah, comma, Jesus, the son of Mary. Notice that they keep on making this distinction. A messenger of Allah. Now we have this word. It's and. What is the Messiah? His word. Which. Was conveyed to Mary. And now we're going back to Jesus. And a spirit from him. 
So believe in Allah and his messengers. And do not say three. Desist. It is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God. Now we're going back, right? It's interesting. Allah said he's so exalted above having a son. He's saying, it. look, in the same verse, it says, Jesus, the son of Mary. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. And sufficient is Allah as disposed of a face. Now we're having, we're speaking about what? Never would the Messiah disdain to be a slave of Allah. So we know that the Messiah is a, is the slave of Allah. Interesting enough, that's what they call him in Isaiah 53. Ma'abd. Who will believe our message? My slave. Never would the Messiah disdain to be a slave of Allah. And not the angels, the ones who are near, and whoever disdains his worship is arrogant then he will gather them to himself all together. Chapter 5, verse 17. They have certainly disbelieved who say that Allah is the Messiah. So this means that people are going to say that a lot that the Messiah is God. Comma. Well, you've seen all the things that the Messiah is going to do. So a lot is saying that they will call both of these people. And interestingly enough, in this verse, we don't have his name. So what does that mean? Why don't we have the name Isa? To show you that these are two titles. Allah says, I make it simple and plain. Chapter 5, verse 17 does not have Jesus' name in it. It just has the two titles. So it's going to say the Messiah, the son of Mary. No. You don't say the, the. These are titles. It's clear. Say then who now and then look. You'll see titles and then you'll see the two titles, see the two title. And then interestingly, you'll see a group of three. Said, then who would prevent Allah at all if he intended to destroy the Messiah, comma, the son of Mary, comma, and his mother or everyone on the earth. And to Allah belongs the dominions of the heavens and the earth and whatever is between them. He creates what he wills and Allah is over all things competent. That's that's simple and that's right in your face. A 
the Messiah, the son of Mary and his mother or everyone on earth. All right, chapter five, verse 72. They have certainly disbelieved who say, now it is again. Notice that we got this statement again. How do we have the repetition of it? Was it a mistake? Why isn't Jesus' name in this verse again? Listen, Allah does not make mistakes. They have certainly disbelieved who say Allah is the Messiah. Comma. The son of Mary, while, notice, do you see this? How do we have the Messiah by itself as a title, not with the son of Mary following? Anytime you say Ibnu, you better put a the in it. It's a the, it's a, ti it's a title, it's a title, it's a title. 72 is a is a bow. They have certainly disbelieved who say that Allah is the Messiah. Comma. The son of Mary. While the Messiah has said, this is a sentence. You got to take it for what it is. This is the final revelation of God. The Messiah said, O oh, children of Israel, didn't Allah said that nobody believed in Jesus? Did you forget that? Nobody believed in Jesus before his death. Said nobody. Nobody. So how we got the Messiah talking to the children of Israel if the people of the book did not believe in Jesus before his death? So that means that they're saying that they believed in Jesus after the death. Notice they have two different words as well. One is the people of the book. One is the children of Israel. But remember, it said that the Messiah coming to the children of Israel and all of the things that he was supposed to tell them. Worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord, indeed, he who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden him paradise. And his refuge is Jahannam, the fire, the blaze. And there is not for the wrongdoers any helpers. It'd be like, what? you see, This is clear syntax here. If anybody who you don't need to proofread is God. He said what he said when he done said it. What it done say? It said, <coughs> they have certainly disbelieved who say that Allah is the Messiah, comma, the son of Mary. So this is a statement for both individuals. So that means that that's like a as well as. While that while is a contrast. Did you see that? It's a contrast. That's when you have while. While is a word of contrast. The Messiah said. O oh, children of Israel, 
So this means what? Exactly what it means. That means that people only believed in Jesus after he died. And this is people, this is literally that what the Messiah is telling to these people why he's alive. And I, I'm not even going, 575 literally says it. The Messiah is not the son of Mary. In Arabic, you know, they don't like me. They don't like me on YouTube. They think I don't know how to speak Arabic. It will say, Ma el Masihu ibnu Maryam. That's all you need. That's it. That's it. Ibnu is the son of. Maryam is Mary. Ma is not, or sometimes we use it as what? Depending on the where it is, Matt, what is Al Masihu, the Messiah? What is not? Who? The son of Mary. Not. I'm gonna just have to apologize. I didn't even. I had to pause it. I was like, "Ain't no way that Allah specifically says it and uses titles only in Jesus's name is not even in there, so you won't even have any confusion on who these individuals are." So the only thing it is is there. It says, "Man, I'm like I'm speaking in Arabic, and I'm like, did I say what I said when I said when I said it?" Says Ma El Masihu Ibnu Maryam. That's literally saying the Messiah is not the son of Mary, but a messenger. Illa Rasulin. Certainly, messengers have passed on before him. Now we're talking about his mother again. And his mother was a supporter of truth. Now what? They both used to eat food. Remember that this was a statement about them saying that Jesus was God. Look how, remember they say that Mary gave birth to God. Look how we made clear to them the signs and look how they're deluded. Allah is saying, look, in this, look, he says, look, in the, you know, the signs, the verses, it says the verses, ayat. Look how clear, Allah literally says it in the verse. Look how clear. He literally says, man, it means not. Who? el who? for real? Uh-uh. What you talking about? Ibnu, the son, whose son? Mary's son. Who her baby daddy? She ain't got one. Okay. All right, now let's go. Let's continue. It says, look how clear these verses are. They still gonna play with me. One day, what, when, one day, this is all the same verse. So if you feel like Allah is making mistakes, this is like, these are the last chapters, last chapters. One day will Allah gather, you know what's interesting? Somebody told me there was a Yusuf Ali chant Quran. Then I had to go and, didn't I tell y'all that I translated this myself? That this isn't the, this isn't Yusuf Ali. This is me. Like, I had to go, but I said, I said, what? It's crazy. Listen, right? Being a black man in America, they, with tattoos on your, they never take you serious with your knowledge. You just got to stand firm. I said, man. 
El Masihu Ibn Maryam. They be acting like I don't know how to read four letters, four words. It's crazy. Ya Allah said, look how clear their verses are. One day will Allah gather the messengers. So we're gathering all the messenger here, messenger there, everybody, the messengers. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a celebration together. And ask, what was the response you received? You know, like, what, do, what did the people do with the message that you gave them? And they will say, we have no knowledge. It's interesting, right? How they say that Jesus just looks down from the sky saying, what are you doing to my followers? They said that all of the messengers will say that they have no knowledge of what happened. We've been in, we, have, we don't know. And then what? Then the law is going to say, what is the law going to say? Notice now we have the name. We have the name and the title on the day of judgment in front of everybody. Why we don't have it saying the Messiah first? Did you notice that all of those sequences, the word Messiah was first, and then it was Jesus the Messiah. It was the it was the big it was big Messiah, right? I always thought it was big Messiah. Said big, it said the Messiah, then it was Jesus, the son of Mary, in all of those sequences that made you confused. But now, on this one, when Allah speaks, who does it matter when the people speak? No, it says Allah says, Yeah, Isa ibn Maryam. Jesus, the son of Mary, recount my favor to you and your mother. You, it keeps on saying it's you and your mother's situation. When I strengthen you with the pure spirit, you know, it's crazy how people say it's angel Gabriel because it says Kudis, because angels are perfected. They assume this to be angel Gabriel. It's, it's, clearly, it's not angel Gabriel. You did speak to the people and Childhood and maturity. Remember from chapter three, this is the same sequence. Same, same sequence. And that's it, right? You spoke to them in the beginning and then you died. And they said, nobody believed in you until after you died. And that's why everybody talking about Jesus died for their sins. So that's a literal statement to say that nobody believed in anything about Jesus. Until what? After he died. So what What we got here? What do we have here is a failure to communicate. It's failure. Now what happens? Allah is teaching the book. Whose book? What book? What book? Not the Quran. When I taught you the book. This is on the day of judgment. What book is Allah talking about on the day of judgment? On the day of judgment? What book we going to be talking about? We best to be talking about the book that this is written in. What books are there on the day of judgment? Well, class, I taught the book. What else you got? The wisdom. Okay. That's two. And the Torah. Well, that's three books. That's three. Oh, that ain't three books. That's two books and some wisdom. And the Injil. What? That's three books and wisdom. What happened? What happened? That's four books on the day of judgment. Who got four books? That sure isn't Jesus because nobody believed him. And they said that Jesus was already going to be a witness on the day of judgment. So this is Jesus as a witness on the day of judgment. So this can't be him. This is somebody coming with three books and wisdom. And when you made out a clay a figure, let's get a list. Let's get a list. We got four books. And he's popping out with a bird by my permission. And when you what? Made out of the clay out the bird. It was the bird out the clay. When you, when you, when you blew the breath in it. That's five. Jesus ain't never did that. We don't accept the gospel of Thomas. It's nonsense. Is heretical farces. 
What else we got? Where we got? Heals the blind too. We got six. Six. Lepers. Seven. Holla at me. What else we got? By my permission. Inshallah. What? And he bring forth the dead. We got eight. What you talking about? Eight. By my permission. And remember, they said that you can't kill him. Did you forget it said, and you can't kill him? Not that you thought that you done touched Jesus. It said, and when you did restrain the children of Israel from him, you can't touch that man. You can't touch the Messiah if you wanted to. Did you? That's what it said. Not that you believed that this was happening. Said you can't even touch the Messiah. And when you did show them the clear signs, the clear verses, and the unbelievers among them, the revelations, the ayah, there is nothing but evident magic. So then he said he was coming with the signs too. Remember, he said, coming with a sign from Allah. Gospel of Barnabas said. Jesus made the sun stand still. And Joshua made the sun stand still. So I don't even know. They said that when the sun comes up from the other direction. So we don't even know. Because it's looking like the Messiah moving the sun and the moon the way it's the way they talking. It's that it was like, oh, that's magic. That's something different. It said clear signs. That's something different. I'm a little weary about that one. Chapter 9. The Jews say, so this is a group of individuals saying a statement. Ezra is the son of Allah. All right, cool. All right. And the Christians say, this is what the Christians say. Not what Allah says. Not what any of that. The Christians have said that what? That the Messiah is the son of Allah. This is what the Christians have said. The statement in itself. This is addressing. Notice that Jesus is not in this verse. It doesn't say son of Mary. It doesn't say Jesus. It says son of Allah. You thought that God was just abbreviating you think god is not confusing they say that that this is the book that you don't need it it doesn't contradict it doesn't doubt so don't be playing with the lord don't be don't be playing with god hold on that is their statement from their mouths. This is literally what they're saying. That is their statement from their mouths. Allah is saying, not this, this is not my statement. This is their statement. The Jews are saying this. The Christians are saying this. And they have imitated this statement from a previous people ignorantly. They imitate those sayings of those who disbelieved before. May Allah destroy them. How are they deluded? It's a clear verse. They have taken their scholars and their monks as the lords along with Allah and the Messiah and the son of Mary. Notice there's no Jesus name in there. Just so you wouldn't be confused. Allah doesn't even put his name. We see two titles. So we understand that these are two different individuals. Uno, dos, one, two. And they are not commanded except but to worship one God. And there is no deity except him. Exalted is he above whatever they associate with him. They be playing with me. They be playing with me. 
Like, what do you mean? Do you speak Arabia? I don't need to speak Arabia to be up on this. What you talking about? It's easy. I thank my computer. I like to thank God. Te technology. It's crazy what 1,500 years of technology would do when you start listening what these desert arrows been lying about. Or in this same ver in this same chapter, it said that the desert Arabs amongst them are hypocrites. The ones in Mecca and the ones in Medina. Hypocrites. All right. So I said, well, forgive me. Allah said what he said when he said it. So you either stand, you either stand on business or your angels are going to witness. I'm trying to tell you, you better, you better rewind this, send it to your mama, said that Jesus ain't your Messiah. Tell it to the Muslims, the Jews and the Christians. This is a universal video. You feel me? You need to go ahead and spread this one. This that this that you need to put this this that blue magic. Salam.